Welcome to Sublimation 101 Holiday Tip 26, number four. Come on, baby, light my fire. Sublimation tea can holders with a bonus gift treat jar. All done in your mug press in under one minute. Come on over, let's show you how it's done. I'm simply gonna go up to my mug press and I'm gonna have my temperature for the idle set at 350. My transfer temperature at 380. My timing, I'm gonna set for 60 seconds. So once I'm all set, I'm gonna let the machine warm up to 350. I took the privilege of designing some images for everybody. So we're gonna put these right on. So basically what I'm gonna do right now is simply going to cut out my images to go right onto my designated area like so. That's one. Two. Let's move this over to the side for easy working. Image is cut. Notice I left the white trim on the side. That is going to be for our heat tape. We're simply going to take two pieces of our heat tape and we're going to put it right onto the designated area. Pretty much with candle holders and stuff, there really is no center point. Anywhere can be your center. Remember, Sublimation 101 candle holders also come with the foamy sponge bottom feet so they don't scratch the surface. So I'm simply going to take my Sublimation image, line it up into the designated area of the tea light candle holder, like so. This is going to get very hot in your mug press. Unlike a mug, we don't have a handle to grab onto. I'm simply going to insert it right into my mug press, like so. Close down the handle, push the start button. Come on over while you're doing that, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna go on to our glass while that's cooking. No need to babysit, let's just keep going and have some fun. We're gonna take the Sublimation 101 frosted glass candle holder, two pieces of tape. I'm gonna insert them right over here like so. I'm gonna take my Sublimation transfer right into my paper cutter. Cut it right down to size. Remember, always leave that space of white on the side because if you do put the tape on the color, chances are you might not get a clear, clean release of the ink onto the substrate. Number two, I'm gonna line up on my candle holder. Like so. I'm gonna make sure my paper is nice and tight and secure. And we're gonna insert it right into the mug press with nice tight pressure. And we're going to push the start button. We'll be back in a minute and we'll see how these come out. Our timer's counting down. Notice I put my heat glove on. I push the stop button. I'm simply going to open up the handle using my of glove. I'm going to pick up my nice hot candle holder. When removing the paper, I always recommend you scratch away or grab a corner for easy peel and peel right off. There's your fully sublimatable tea candle holder in under a minute press time. If you come on over here, our frosted is counting down. We have 20 seconds to go. And after this, we got the bonus treat for you, the candy cookie jar. Great for the civil service worker, the mailman, the UPS man. Fill it up with penny candy and give it to somebody in the family who doesn't love candy. Our press is going to beep. Again, I have my glove on to secure myself so I do not burn myself. Again, with this particular peel, do not scratch at the frosting. You will scratch the frosting. And once we're done, we have our beautiful sublimation crystal candle holder. Come on over. Let's take a look at some of we made already. We added some bling to this particular style. We put some bling onto our cookie jar. And now we're going to do the cookie jar. When we do the cookie jar, everybody's got to remember one thing. We have to change our time and temperature. We have to bring this down to a lower idle temperature of 330. And we want to bring our transfer temperature down to 350. We still want the same one minute. And we're going to let that take its place. <clears throat> Sublimation 101 candy jars. Do come with the gift boxes. 
and the plastic. I recommend you keep the packaging material because it's great for you, the end finisher, as a selling tool to your client, gift box and packaging included. Notice the plastic lid snaps in place. We do remove the lid. Once we remove the lid, I'm simply going to take my sublimation transfer. I'm going to put some tape right on it like we normally do. Wrap it into the designated area of my cookie tin and insert it right into our mug press. We're going to adjust our pressure and we're going to close it down. We'll be back in a minute. Here we go. We have the mini tea candle holder. Simply going to, same way, align my sublimation image right around. Take a little heat tape to hold it in place. I'm simply going to insert it right into my mug press like so. I'm going to check my time and temperature for 350, 380, for 60 seconds. 350, 380, for 60 seconds. Let it warm up. Once that hits 350, we'll push the start button. Our other piece is heating up right now in the mug press as we're going along. Our mug press is just about finished counting down, so let's see how our cookie candy jar turned out. Open it up, push the stop button on my machine, simply grab the piece of heat tape right in the corner like so, and peel it off. Here is our beautiful cookie jar, all done in our mug press. And at the same time we're finishing, we have a couple of seconds to go for our tea candle. And remember the small tea candle, like the big one, comes with the rubber foam feet. I still have my glove on because I'm going to get ready to take out this hot piece of ceramic. Machine will beep. I'm simply going to open it up, slide it out, peel off my sublimation paper, and there is our ceramic small tea candle holder. Just so you know, these and other products can be found at www.sublimation101.com for all your holiday needs. On behalf of myself, Sublimation 101, more tips to come. Thank you and happy holidays.